was born into a Christian family. My father is a Presbyterian minister. He has been inside TAB to do my wedding, also baptized some of my children. And so up until high school, it was kind of traditional, right? We went to church every Sunday. God and Christ were a big part of our lives. And it was relatively straightforward. And then I went to college. Majoring in psychology and history presented those challenges to faith. When you study religion historically, there are things that come up that are hard to wrestle with. And I don't think that I was prepared going in to have that experience because I wasn't going to a Christian college and I wasn't studying Christian things. And so after grad school, I had a period of disengagement. I just kind of checked out, wasn't attending church, wasn't really wrestling with any of these questions and was just sort of doing young adult life uh, and enjoying that very much. But I wasn't satisfied with that. And when it came to getting married, I, I realized that there was more conflict there. I wanted to be married in a church. I wanted my father to do the wedding. I wanted it to be a Christian wedding. But I hadn't been going to church and I didn't want to join a church just to get married there. That didn't feel right. So we came to TAB. They were very open to letting my dad come in. Uh, my husband is Catholic, so they allowed a priest to come in, and it was wonderful. And it really set that conflict back in my mind. Like, you don't want to not be a churchgoer, but you've lost a lot of belief in some of the things that you took for granted before. I started what I would consider my period of struggling to re-engage and there were times I would come and sit in church just racked with anxiety. I don't belong here. I don't believe what these people believe. If they knew what I believed, if they knew what I struggled with, I questioned whether I could come back from it. Can you be disillusioned the way I was in that early part of my adulthood and actually ever be a Christian again? It was really a struggle for me. And I remember sitting in church one day, racked, just, just going over in my mind, like, what am I doing? What am I doing here? What am I thinking? Um, what would some of my friends think? You know, what would, what would my gay friends think if they knew I was sitting here? What would my trans friends think if they knew that I was sitting here? Just going over all of these things. And I just prayed because I didn't have anything else to do, right? And I said, I asked God, please find me, because I can't find you. And I just put that prayer out there in sort of a desperate way. So I started to look into some things. I started to consider some questions and started asking my dad some questions, some really pointed questions. And he is probably the least defensive person and corrected a few of my thing, thoughts, one of which was that questions or doubts make you a bad Christian, and that doubts are absolutely fine, and that they move us forward in our faith, which I say for myself was actually true. And I started to open up. I started to be more open and feel more connected to what was happening in church. And I really, I cannot say I am where I wanna be in my faith, but I can say that I have found my faith again in a much deeper way. I'm able to read the creeds and the statements of belief without conflict. But what Christ being alive means that that prayer was heard. There's no way to get from where I was to where I am without help. And of course, Tab played a huge role in that but I think there was also an answer to that prayer.